All right, let's take this derivative. I will use both versions of the definition and the algebra will look a little bit different, but there will be some similarities and you'll see that whichever version you're using, you'll get the same answer in the end. So let's start here. To find g prime of nine, I'm gonna take the limit as x approaches nine of g of x minus g of nine all over x minus nine. So we're gonna have the limit as x approaches nine of square root of two x minus square root of two times nine all over x minus nine. Simplifying, of course, just a tiny little bit, we're gonna have square root of two x minus square root of 18 over x minus nine. What now? Uh, so here I'm gonna multiply the top and the bottom of this limit by the conjugate, which is occasionally sometimes helpful to do. And in this case, it is helpful to do. So I'm multiplying the numerator and the denominator by square root of two x plus square root of 18. I remember talking about multiplying by the conjugate in a previous video. And here I am doing it again. All right, limit as x approaches nine of, okay. So down here in the denominator, I'm not even gonna multiply this stuff out because it turns out that doesn't actually help me and it only makes my life worse. But up there in the numerator, I'm gonna foil that stuff and good things are gonna happen. Square root of two x times square root of two x, when I multiply those things together, I'm gonna to get a two x. Square root of two x times square root of 18, that is whatever it is, but then you're gonna do this, negative square root of 18 times square root of two x. So you're gonna have a positive version and a negative version that you're gonna to add together that will cancel each other out. And then finally, you're gonna be left with square root of 18 times square root of 18 is just 18. And so this is the limit that I'm taking now. Notice that right now, if you plug in an x equals nine, you'll get a zero in the numerator and a zero in the denominator, which means that's not helpful and you gotta keep doing algebra. So let's keep simplifying a little bit. Uh, let's factor out a two from the numerator. Oh, check that out. Now there is a common factor of x minus nine in both the numerator and the denominator that can be eliminated. So we get a two over square root of 2x plus square root of 18. And I'm taking the limit as x approaches nine. So this is gonna be two over square root of 18 plus square root of 18. Let's simplify that a little bit. That's two over two times the square root of 18. That's one over the square root of 18. I'm not done simplifying. That's one over square root of nine times two. So that's one over three times the square root of two. I'm fine with that. A lot of you may have learned that you should always rationalize your denominator. And if you wanna rationalize your denominator, that means you wanna sort of manipulate it so that there are no more irrational numbers uh, in your denominator. That's an old school sort of thing that I think is less and less important these days, but whatever. Let me show you how that would work if you want. Multiply the top and the bottom by square root of two. You'll get square root of two over three times the square root of four. Oh, I know what the square root of four is, it's two. And so you're gonna end up with, oh wait, no, I'm done. I don't wanna simplify that anymore. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, I do. Square root of two over six. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there is me calculating the derivative using the one version of the definition of the derivative. 